Hi, this is Mary Beth Harrison with Dallas Native Voice, and I'm sitting here with Chris Kelly. I love spending time with you. I always enjoy being invited. CEO of Evie Halliday, of which Dave Perry Miller is a part of. Yes. And I'm, I always love what you bring to the table here. Thanks for so, always inviting me. I appreciate it. So here's what I want to do today. Okay. We did a kind of market update at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So here we are mid-year. What does it look like to you? Yeah, so if we're looking across the city, what we're seeing is that inventory is up between about 17 and 20%. Uh, and that would be blended of all types of inventory, right? right? Certain types might be higher or lower than that, but blended all, it's about 17 to 20%. Okay. And then we're seeing uh, pendants down about 3%. So the number of sales this year versus last year is down about 3%. Okay, so we have more inventory and what's going under contract is kind of slowing down Correct. a little bit. Okay. Now, right. but when you look into it though, what's interesting is that we're looking at last year, average inventory on the market was about 2.3 months, now right. it's 2.7. So 17, 20% sounds yeah. like this really big number, but right. when you really measure it out in months, it's right. not a huge difference. But what it reflects to me is that we're seeing a ba more balanced market, you know, a more even balanced market between buyers and sellers, which is always actually a really good thing. I agree with you. I, I was noticing when I was looking at the stats that came out is price point about starting about 700, 600, 700 the month supply of housing goes up exponentially. Correct. So we're at six months or more of homes over 600,000 and it kind of just jumps seven months, eight months, nine months, and then when you get a million and more, I think we're at 12 months supply right. of housing. So in certain price points, the market's still really good and like you say, the inventories you know, one to two months supply. There's Correct. just not enough of that. Correct. Uh, but then you start getting into that higher price range, and I think that's what we're seeing. Just be a little bit more calm, you know, yeah. just a little bit. Well, and you remember, every time you go up a price point, your pool of buyers gets smaller, Absolutely. right? So every time you jump those 100,000 increments, your pool gets smaller and smaller. And the decision-making on those higher price point buyers is also has a lot more factors into it. So yes. when you're looking at what the average sales price in Dallas and, and the median sales price, those those factors are always based on, is my, do I feel secure in my job? What's the cost of gas mm -hmm. and what's the interest rate? Right. When you get into those like million dollar plus things, you know, how's the stock market doing? There's all those different exactly. things that are at play. There's a lot more variables that depend on when I buy or Without sell. Without a doubt, they're a lot more uh, globally interested in Correct. what's happening in the market all the way around. It's not just our little microcosm of what yeah, we're doing here. Yeah, exactly right. They take in a much yeah. bigger picture there. So I, I completely agree. Yeah. And they're taking a little bit longer to make a decision. Yes. So it's not like they see it and write an offer like you do on some of your, say, $300,000 properties that go pretty quickly. Correct. But yeah, I see them just taking a little bit longer to make yeah. that decision and get all their ducks in a row yeah. before they go there, which is not a bad thing. No, you know? and certainly since the last time we talked, I mean, what we saw happen was interest rates really came down and that has spurred that, you know, probably that under 600,000 yes. dramatically, that difference between, I was at a meeting where uh, we were talking with our loan officers and they said between, let's say January and now, the yes. average buyer in the Dallas community probably has $50,000 more of purchasing power wow. based on the interest rates from January versus now. I mean, that's a big difference that's, and allows you to jump up a little oh bit. Oh my gosh, that's that's crazy. If anyone had told me we'd still be at these interest rates, yeah. I would have lost my home, my dog, my, I mean, everything, <laughs> because I would have bet everything right. I had that interest rates would no longer be this low. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, the, the opportunity is so incredible right now correct. you know and if yeah. anyone's sitting out there with a ridiculous interest rate on their loan they need to be refinancing correct because this is the time and what we define as ridiculous now is like if you're in the fives you're yeah. crazy it's ridiculous exactly you know? and yeah. we all know anything under what six or eight percent interest is a yeah. great loan correct you know correct. so we're so spoiled rotten yeah. now with yeah. this continually low under four percent type of interest rate Agreed. that um when it does start to tick up i think we're going to see a big just kind of like, whoa, what just happened here? Right. And like you said, their buying power drops dramatically. Yes. So that, that little bit of interest is, is huge between yeah. what they can afford and what they could afford. You know, Correct. people who put things on a back burner and said, you know, we're going to wait because there wasn't enough on the market right. or whatever. And then when they did jump back in, interest rates had gone up from the threes now to the fours. Right. It knocked them completely out of their body. Well, and I think the point for those that are watching and watch all of your videos is that, you know, here's the expert here saying, if you would have told me mm -hmm. interest rates would be this low. So if you're out there waiting, thinking it's going to go lower, yeah. 
don't gamble on no. that. Like, if you're thinking about doing it, this is really the time to do it. Yeah, you know, no, take advantage of it while it's there. Yeah, I don't see them going lower. They've just yeah. stayed at this just incredible rate right. for quite some time. Agreed. So, yeah, but all in all, I just think it's a great market. I know our business is up tremendously this year, so we're seeing it, and um, it's just it's just a good time to be in the market. Balance is good. When it's out of balance, mm -hmm. it might favor one side versus the other, but it always is going to lead to issues and problems and bubbles. So absolutely. balance is absolutely what we're striving for. Yeah, not yeah. having 10 people hovering over one house <laughs> is actually a good yeah. day for us. You Completely know? Agree. Someone's not going to be happy. There's nothing yes. good happening on a multi-offer. Yeah, exactly <laughs> There's right. going to be some disappointed one people. One person happy, nine people very upset. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you for bringing Thanks for us up today. Thanks for having me. I always hey, appreciate it. I always love having you here. Thank you. So thanks for listening. You can find us on all social media. We go where you go.